All right, friends, welcome back to another episode of our Spirit Fair Let's Play. Uh, in the previous episode, we found the ectoplasm. Uh, Stanley told us about these little dust sprite. Uh, I think he said dust bunnies. I don't really remember their name. They were little purple guys that we had to talk to Jacob, his ghost beetle, who we see. And, uh, yeah. We chased like 70 of them around my boat. I collected probably, I don't know. I'll look in a moment. How many did I collect? I collected 18 plus whatever it took to make a tools uh, picture frame. I think we should organize a big dinner for everyone aboard. I'm not kidding around. Well, not everyone, just a few people, maybe. I think it would bring spirits up. You should invite everyone and ask them what they want for dinner. Let's say three of your favorite dinner companions. What do you think? All right, all right. Do I even have three people? Yeah, three other people. Uh, okay. So we can bring Bruce and Mickey, Stanley, and Gustav, and that's everyone on the boat right now. Oh shit, we're gonna have to leave one person out then. Obviously I have excellent credentials. It, it runs in this family. To be honest, I just don't want to take orders from the cat. <laughs> Stella, you're running around all the time. You've been doing all these errands for everyone. Putting others in front of your needs. When I look at you, I see a little bit of myself. Did you know that? But I want to let you in on a little secret. You might love to run around and help all these people, but you need to take some time for yourself. Do something that's only for you. That's something I never got to do myself. I suppose that's why I'm here. In this world, on this boat, that's why Viv and my daughters don't have me around anymore. Well, at least we got each other, Sprout. <clears throat> oh. But we gotta bring Stanley, because... I can feed him glue? Who are you again? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? He's chowing down, dude. Nice. Oh, Stanley loves other people's food. Bring me some french fries. Fine then. I don't know if there are more ghost beetles on your boat. Jacob could have another friend to play with. On the other hand, I like that he's with me. He sees them. They fill me up with sadness and thanks to Jacob, I can avoid them. One time, one of them bit me on the nose. Did you know that? I switched on the light and he got scared. That's the thing with dust shades. Light scares them big time. That's why they hide in the shadows and no one can see them. And that's why they don't like your belt buckle. It's bursting with light. That's fair. Come to dinner, dude. Feel squeezy from eating glue. Oh, dear. Will you eat the glue? I can't see- what? Why are they just eating the glue? I can't see. Oh no. I thought he was the only one. That over- en that over-energized friend of yours is organizing a dinner. Good thing you're taking care of the food, my dear. Hmm, let's see. Something that takes skill. Something- some tuna tataki, perhaps. That sounds decent. Okay, so we did we did get uh We did get Stanley invited to the dinner. But I wanna bring Bruce and Mickey too. Where they at? Hey you ain't running through my stuff again, is you? Hello? We're burning daylight here. Oh, I thought I heard a door. Might have been Daffodil. There he is. A dinner. A tool who? I like food, so I'll be there. But I won't talk to anyone there. Maybe you can get something fried. A corn dog. Make it happen, Scout. No shit. They don't like poor people. They don't like poor people food. 
My bad. There you go. Sprout! Now here comes the hard part. I need a sous chef. Someone to help me prepare all the meals. A good chef always has a good team behind them. Believe you me, Stella. We make a great team. I'll just write down what everyone wanted. You just need to prepare it all. <laughs> the heavy lifting, you know. Oh, man. Apparently I have to prepare food and give it to a tool. What a day. Cook sawdust and glue together. Well, that's the first thing we'll worry about. We've made it to Edgeboro, by the way. That's where we're parked outside of right now. But we're just mopping up some quests and things. Oh, mackerel. Sawdust and what? Fuck, it was glue. I fed it to everyone. Whoops. Well, we can't do that one. I need to go find an old shoe. Francis has got to be around here somewhere. Alright, so we got go to the Greatest Peaks, which are out of range. Those just cook everything. Make shit. And uh, make stuff. I would like to go here rather than do all that right now. Because I want to get the proof of cow purchase. I'd like to buy a cow. Oh. You better keep moving. I'm meeting someone and it's clearly not you. He said inconspicuous. Oh. And that giant hat doesn't scream inconspicuous. Maybe it's so conspicuous that it's inconspicuous. You ever think about that, genius? Mm -hmm. Wait, can I go down here? Can I go in this? You need to check yourself. Don't come in my face and start asking me questions. You ain't the government. Plus, I don't answer to them either. Back on up. Well, fine then. Be that way. Also, there was a lemon graffiti on the thing there. Hey. I am the Lizard King. Cool. Same. Everything's boarded up, dude. Oh, not this one. What's that? Hey, you. The name's Randy. This isn't Theodore. I know, I know. Aren't you merchants all supposed to be called Theodore? Yes. But not if you stop paying your franchise fees to Raccoon Inc. Listen. Hear me out. I know what you're thinking. This guy looks shady. Well, that's right. That's why I'd cut my arm off and my leg to get you the, be the best prices. And not just the best prices, the best items. Take a look, or take a look and remember. My name's Randy and my stock can't be beat. Alright, you got old shoes. Really? Okay, I'll take that. Good for one mint condition cow. Bought by one. I'm not gonna buy more than that though. Mm, can I go in? Yeah, I can't grab that anymore. This place smells like hot garbage on a sunny day. When the sun hits that dumpster just right, you can really smell the dead fish. Our tax glim's hard at work. Indeed. Well, hello? All right, you animals. You should be ashamed of your lack of musical knowledge. The best song in the world is The Autumn End. No doubt about it. Thanks. That song, okay, okay. Lover's Myth is not only the superior song, but it's also technically more interesting. You don't know music. Liars. It's the same song, you jerk. The words Lover's Myth are in the damn lyrics. No, it's not. You don't have good taste and you know nothing. Hey. Mm. Settle this thing for us. These dumb, dumb idiots say that Autumn End and Lover's Myth are different songs. That's just, just wrong. Please help me prove these jerks are so wrong. Do you play the guitar? Of course you do. Look at those fingers. Calluses the size of mountains. Wow, rude. If you only knew the song, you could play it for us. Wait a second. I know where you can find the sheet music to the autumn end. It's literally the sports anthem to the city I'm from. Everyone knows it. I'm sure you can find it. Uh, find a shop on Nordweiler that sells it. Didn't I buy it? Here's some pocket change. Keep it, but bring back the sheet music.
thought I bought that already. I bought some music. Oh, I do have an old shoe. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Good job finding the sheet music for the autumn end. Now, let her rip. Go play the song in the middle here. In the middle there. Let's stop this madness. Unite us! Impossible! Kind of slap, though. Amazing. You sure know how to rock. I told you. I told them it's the same song. Thanks for settling this argument. Now these so-called music lovers will leave us alone. Yeah. Alright. Who are you? Still not gonna call it by its original name. Wow. Okay. Toxic, dude. Hey. Wait, how did I get the lift on that? Whoop. Please. Please! Alright, if we get a little speed going on, we can make it up this one. Yay! God bless America! Yay! Signed vintage poster. Please. Alright, well there's a... There are more power lines going this way, so I assume I'll be able to get up on that higher one. Well, I threw away that momentum. Good thing we got this. Musly? 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 Alright. We did it. Yeet. Damn it. There's my cow purchase. Fuck. Let's see where this goes this way. Oh, that's the Lizard King. Alright, well we can get some more glue now. Hello? Okay, okay. They're very, very particular about their music. And naming as well. Kind of, kind of strange. Uh, I think we can make the cow place. We can also make the cellar. A fermentation haven. Ah, oh, hell yeah, dude. Let's put this on top of the chicken coop. Yeah. This is why we did all that preparing a couple episodes ago. Of course, we'll put the cellar on the very top of the boat. It's very important that we do that. <laughs> For reasons. Alright, so it's not actually cooking the shoes, it's foundrying them. Yes, please. So this is very important. We need to not feed the glue to our our friends. Um, we just need to keep the glue and turn it into paper instead. It's of Paramount Boards. Why they let me feed my friends glue, I don't know. But I'm kind of okay with it. Not that I would do that or uh, condone that in real life. Just the opposite, in fact. But to do so here is just a little amusing. What a mess. What's a mess, dude? Oh. Hey, big hat. Do you have a favorite passenger? Wait, 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 wait. Don't tell me. It's your secret. I have one, too. It's my secret. Wait. What if it's the same one? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Now I kind of have to know. Oh, no. It's going to bug me the whole day. Please tell me. Come on. Wait. No. Don't tell me. Oh, fudge. I shouldn't have said anything. Never mind. Well... Yeah, I can't, I can't say for ethical purposes, dude. Alright, let's cook up some of that sawdust, some of that glue. Yeet. 
And while that's cooking on up, let's have a look over here. Hey, bud. There's an actual cow here. Here. Damn. Three glasses of milk from one cow. In one day? Perfect. All right, cabbage is an incredibly leafy, incredible leafy veggie. So many layers can become pickled sauerkraut in the cellar. Become yogurt. Okay. Well, let's just do one. I'd also like the silk. Yeah, all right, so we've got all of the uh, the main buildings. There's another one this bouncy thing We need cotton fabric, which I have I just need to make it Let's do that real quick while everyone's sleeping Why spend the time sleeping, you know? Cotton 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 Five should be plenty That Gustav snoozing like that. What a silly goose, Dov. <laughs> Why's it got such a big thing on it? Hello? Yeah, we can can't deliver it out like that, shall we? It's not really can't delivered, it's got a support beam, but you know. I'm gonna go bounce on it just for fun. And then we'll we'll sleep. Nailed it, dude. What oh, paper's done? I forgot about that. Ta -da! I suppose I could also spend time messing around with the uh, the crafting stations, like Stanley wanted me to. But we'll do that in the daytime. I always worry that using the crafting stations at nighttime while everyone's sleeping will wake them up. The, the loom is one thing, but if I were to pop up the foundry or like the the smithy at five o'clock in the morning, that might be a little bit of a problem. Wakey, wakey. Ain't no eggs and ain't no bakey. What's up, Stanley? Thanks! That looks exactly like paper. It's even pretty cool. Yes! That will do it. Just give to me now. I bet I could draw some blueprints on it. Mm, that paper. That's paper. That'll work! I have crayons in my house. A bunch of them are hiding in the sofa. Thanks, big hat. I'll start by drawing the nicest blueprints ever. The biggest and most beautiful houses. Maybe someday I could draw buildings for real. Yeah, someday. Well, we should... I hope he, he knows that he's kind of dead. So, like... Probably not. I'm hungry. It's illegal to let children go hungry. That's fair. Have some glue. <laughs> I'm not doing that again. You won't eat fruit. We drink tea? Well, I don't think I can eat that. My mother always said I couldn't. What's a stimulant anyways? <laughs> don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Do you like shellfish? Whoa, thanks. This is so good. Okay. So we can just go tap on Jacob whenever we want. Nice. You're a little hungry, aren't you? Mm. Wait, why are you... Are you not happy, dude? Planks, get your planks. Thanks for the planks. Oh no, he's very happy, that's why. Okay, okay. Where, oh, where is Gustav? Have some bisque.
Morning, kid. Will you eat fisherman's pie? Yeah. All right, we get it. Chickens are ready. The eggs are ready. Five eggs. Okay. I don't know if I want more chickens. BBQH fan. I'm not going to put away all my sunflower seeds. Just a couple. And I'm going to plant, I think, three sets here. Yeah. We got to keep ourselves from running low on them. We want to have enough to grow and to use. I definitely don't want to be going going to buy more there way out of way out of the way over here no nope. we're not doing it all right so what did Stanley want me to do uh boundary crusher and loom just use weird things at the loom huh how about some leaf all right, let's weave some leaks. Dr. Splash's strange experiments. Well, I'd like to look, but I can't get down there. Thank you. Crush an, I'm not crushing an egg. Failed experiments? No. How can they fail? What was the other one's foundry? We could, yeah, I suppose. I suppose that would that would be interesting, wouldn't it? At least the fish will be high in iron. <laughs> Maybe low in iron, now that I think about it. Anytime now, homies. Big mistake. What do you mean? Oh no. You made so many mistakes. I wouldn't have made that many. My dad would say, don't worry about it too much. That would really make my mom mad. Alright, well now what? That's it? Yeah, completed. Alright, so we need tuna tataki. French fries and corn dogs. Well, I have potato potatoes. Uh... Uh, or french fries and corn. Well, I should know what those look like. Be un-American to not know what they look like. Pork and corn flour. Okay. Potato and a fat. Okay. Now tuna tataki. What does that even look like? I would love a lobster roll right about now. Heat treated crab. Okay, okay. Oh, there it is. Savory veggie and tuna. Well, I don't have tuna. I got corn flour. I got pork. Yogurt. We can do it again to, to make cheese. Okay. Let's do it again. 
Oh, I also just wanted to hear all three timers going at the same time. Hey. How are you doing? The cow looks so peaceful. Calm, cool, collected. Uh, okay, okay. These are carrots. Yeet. So we got that, we got the cooking. I don't remember what we need to for the max, min max minimalist clock. Rose gold crystal and gold ingots. So... We gotta figure something out. Not sleep time yet. Yeah. Sun Spring Square, huh? Obscure canopy we need for some reason, and Gray Mist Peaks. And that new one. So, uh, our next stop actually needs to go some. Needs to be somewhere with tuna. Which, there's usually a spot to get tuna somewhere in the, the center area of the sea. So, we just gotta fish one up. We're gonna pick up, not gonna pick up, the bottle dectoplasm. We'll just cook, that's fine too. Yep, corn dogs. We, we do have the potatoes, right? Yeah. Potato and fat. That's the one. Oh, that boat's going fast, fast. Okay. So it was rose gold and... Uh, Crystal glass. So I should focus on getting those. Because those will be doable, but the gold ore, I'm um, kind of at a loss for how to get. Because I know a place that has it. Um, I just don't know where in that place it is. Crystal glass, we can actually do right now. Rose gold, we need gold for. Let's just go ahead and do this one. So many clocks! Captain Hook would have a nightmare. Please? Hello? Fuck! There we go. So, uh, tuna fishing spot. Yeah, way over there. Also, savory vegetable is a carrot of the savory vegetable. Could be. It's not nighttime, dude. Don't be trying to fool me. I ain't falling for your tricks. Yeah, alright. Let me take care of this way up here. Oops. Also forgot about the dinner. So the other two were fine. The Gustav had to be all extra. Easy, dude. Eat. About, about in that fishing territory. Let's get ready for the fight of our lives. Take two. Come on. There we go. There we go. Come on in. Come on in. The air is fine. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe if we just keep tapping it to keep it from running away while we're cooling down. Yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, this is fine, this is fine. Making progress, making progress. Fuck. I got excited. Well, shit. Better hurry up and catch this. Oh, yeah, come on in. I want to know if that tapping is actually even doing anything. Maybe slowing it down a little bit. All right, yeah, yeah, progress. I want to watch like where it's coming into and where it's going out at to see if we're actually making progress, but I, I feel like I have to stare at the fishing pool. Yeah, it's making it made a little bit. Get in there. Ah, it's so close. Please. Bruh. Thank you. Yay. That's way too much work for one tuna. Let me tell you. All right, what was the uh, the other half of that recipe? I honestly don't remember. Savory vegetable. That's what it was. That's not a savory vegetable. That's not a veg. Well, it should be a veggie. Or it's a veggie. Rare delicacy that is quite hard to execute properly. Mm. Well. Uh, root veggie, root veggie, root veggie, leaf veggie, tree fruit, tree fruit, leaf veggie, veggie, berries, berries, root veggie, tree fruits. Nothing savory about it. Glue, maybe? I'm sure, that'd be great. Well, I guess we'll figure out where to get a savory veggie in the next video. So, thank you all for hanging out, for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and smack that like as well. So, I'll see you in the next one. Yeet!